Originally, I'm from Owasso, Oklahoma. When I came here, I didn't know anybody or knew what I wanted to study. So uh, I took some of the entry-level business classes, Business 110, 120, and 210. And with that, one of my case study assignments was to do an interview with a professor in a field that I was interested in studying. Uh, so I reached out to Professor Roger Woody, and he managed to give me 15 minutes of his time where we just discussed what supply chain management really is and what it's all about. Uh, and he then encouraged me to apply as an officer position for the Supply Chain Management Club for my sophomore year. That was my opportunity to see really what supply chain was all about and see if it was something I was interested in. I actually studied abroad supply chain in Panama before I'd ever taken my first supply chain class. So over the course of that semester, I got to know Roger very well and got to know supply chain management and the people in supply chain. And again, Roger Woody is 100% to credit here. So uh, we advertised an opportunity for the National Retail Federation, a scholarship that they offered to send students to New York City for a retail-oriented supply chain uh, conference. So with that, I've made good connections with Walmart's recruiting team and they were recruiting for positions within Walmart, Jet, and Sam's Club. So at the end of the day, I was offered a supply chain merchandising internship for Walmart through the Sam's Club stores. So I've been really innovative here in the School of Business, I like to think, with three of my supply chain credits being counted as my three study abroad opportunities in Panama, Northern Europe, and Brazil. So with that, I think that finding a way to tailor my education was more of a necessity. Um, I didn't want to sit in a three credit hour elective class of something that I wasn't necessarily interested in in finance. So finding a way to do independent study was a recent opportunity for me and I'm really glad that it's panned out. And just finding a professor that thinks similarly and is passionate about research and passionate about students succeeding uh, has really made all the difference. So I'm really excited and I think that uh, this research proposal will give me the credibility that I need to back up my ambition to start a company. So my passion for blockchain really started at this NASTRAC conference where I heard all of these people in transportation companies saying how much of a disruptor it would be. With that, I made a connection with somebody who had formed a blockchain club over the course of that semester. We started as a club here in the School of Business in August 2018. And in January 2019, we were absorbed by the ITTC on West Campus, the Information Telecommunications Technology Center. Uh, so with that, we've really been able to gain university-wide momentum in creating a name for ourselves and creating a name for KU on a global blockchain scale. So with Ripple's UBRI program, the University Blockchain Relations Initiative, we're one of 29 universities who's been given one of these gifts. Uh, we were part of the second round and the opportunities out there are really endless and we're really looking to maximize our potential with this grant and with this money for the next five years.